Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Katie and I am filming my favorite things from 2021. I feel like I found a good amount of holy grail things or things that really have helped me let me say level up, but like just things that I feel like are really gonna stick with me and I'm gonna keep using for years to come from skincare to clothes to household things. If you are new here, we uh, built a house and got married in 2021. So lots going on. And yeah, I just feel like I'm really starting to get into my groove with life. <laughs> like everyone talks about their early 20s being so great, but I feel like as I'm getting closer to 30, I'm like really just growing into like who I feel like I'm supposed to be, not to get too like woo woo or anything. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with clothes because I really found some good, I'm a staple lover. Um, This bodysuit actually that I'm wearing right now is one of my new favorite staples. It's from Unlabeled. Their bodysuits are everything. Um, it's more of like a seamless material. It's not cottony and it has the good snaps. So I hate bodysuits that have bulky snaps on the bottom. Like that's just the worst. Also, I feel like my makeup looks like there's something here and I've like rubbed it seven times and it won't come off. Anyways, um, also having some rosé. I'm filming this on a Saturday at five o'clock, but we're about to have a snowstorm tonight. So Cheers. I guess I could list that as number one. I was trying to keep it to 10 things, but it ended up being like 12, but that's okay. These bodysuits, I'm trying to think of any other ones. Click the label bodysuits are also great. I feel like I'm about that the year before, but love those also. A staple lover. I kind of like minimalist pieces kind of thing. I like neutrals. And then next, denim. So I feel like there are two brands. You'll probably already know which one of the two or two of the two. 2021, I feel like I really found some denim that I'm gonna keep and keep buying from and you guess you probably guessed it abercrombie is number one and well they're not like ranked abercrombie is one of them and zara is the other and i honestly like have been shopping with zara forever and i don't feel like their denim was that great before i don't know i never thought about buying it i don't know if they just stepped it up this year or what but i'll list some of the names in the descriptions because they have such strange and weird names and i'll link everything also so these are i don't know what they're called but <laughs> these are like a wider i wouldn't call them a straight leg but i guess they're, they are they're a straight leg high waist um they were super long on me, so I ended up cutting them and I made them more ankle almost. I'm 5'3". A lot of the Zara jeans, I have, I just have to cut them and like I just deal with it. So I actually haven't bought any that are have a true hem. I've just been buying ones with raw edges so that I can cut them. Obviously, I could take them to a tailor, but that's just what I've been doing. And then this was my first pair of Zara ones. They have been like kind of through the ringer. So I got them, lost a bunch of weight, and then ended up having them taken in. In this in the waist and now looking back i'm like why didn't i just buy another pair they're only 45 dollars but i didn't want to waste them because i cut these two and they're like a split hem maybe they stopped selling them i can't remember but they're like a split hem and they're just such a good color and yeah i love them next i bought like skinny jeans i think from abercrombie in 2020 loved them these are the 90s straight ultra high rise so I actually am going to sell these. So their sizing is a little funky. Like you have to try a few sizes. Um, I used to wear like, I think a 26 curve, but since I lost weight, I went to not the curve. I love that they have the curve line though. I went to not a curve, but then these still are just, they're just a little loose. And I'm, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell these because they're sold out and I'm past the point of selling them back. So. If you want them, let me know. But they're a 25 regular and I bought them long. I usually buy petite or short, but I got them long on purpose so I could wear them with heels. I put pictures up in all of these. They just, they're like just the best straight jeans and they have a perfect high waist. And you can usually get them for like under 75 bucks. They always have a sale. I think they're usually like a hundred. So I will link these and what else? So next is our Nespresso, which is right there. And I'll link the one that we have. I think it's just like the standard, whatever, the Virtua ones. There's just something about it. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, if you follow me on TikTok, you know, I love like romanticizing everything. Just like, how do you describe romanticizing things? Like, I just enjoy the, I've really started enjoying the small things last year. And I just love making coffee with it. Like, there's just something about it that just like feels nice. It's like, 
elevated, if that makes sense. But I just like having it in my house. Then I don't feel like I need to go to Starbucks, you know? Okay, next thing is our Dyson vacuum. For the longest time, I was like, we don't need to spend that much money on a vacuum, but like, there's just something about it. Like, it gets everything, and it just works so well, especially with pets. So, also Roombas are helpful, I realize, now that we're in a house. Okay, next. I was like on the hunt for a CBD company to work with because I like wanted to love CBD, but I couldn't find a company that I loved. And a friend of mine worked with Cured and I ended up trying their products and now I work with them. So I do have a discount code, but I love, I just love, they have so many different products and it's just like, it's not just a CBD line. They have like everything. Also, ooh, I'll show you what the drinks I have in the fridge. This is probably, <coughs> this is probably like my number one product from them though. Pure CBD, it's mint flavored, so it doesn't taste like the, I think they literally taste like trees. And you literally just do a dropper and I do it before bed. It is just like, it's so great, especially for someone with anxiety so bad. If I just need to like relax at night, I'll take some of that. They also have, this is a new one I just got, raw CBN. I would say it's more of like a lighter version of the CBD. Like the CBD is kind of, I wouldn't say strong, like you have to like work up to it almost, like a little bit and then more and more. This one is actually extra strength. This is, I just want to call it like a milder version. It has a little bit of CBD in it and this one's not flavored, but I love this too if I just want something a little bit milder. These two products. So Wes has like fallen in love with this and I take this occasionally to the Rise capsules. And he says to like liquid Adderall, like natural Adderall. Like they really are just for like focus, clarity, take them in the morning. Um, some people take them as pre-workout. So it has some vitamins in it, lion's mane and cordyceps and then but yeah, really like those. And then also, if I don't want to take CBD, I don't know what was in the puppy you're doing upstairs. This, oh, oh yes, okay. I always forget what's in here. It's like a different blend. It is CBD, they're also capsules. It has, I love reishi. What do I have it in? Something else that I take at night. It has magnesium, reishi, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Then it has 20 milligrams of CBD and oh, ashwagandha and chamomile. Another option for nighttime. I just love their products, like, and they just came out with a drink. Oh, also these pants are from Zara. I was having like a comfy moment here. And they're ribbed leggings that have a slit hem. I'll also link these. They're so cute with booties, but I just like didn't feel like putting jeans on. It's a CBD drink. It has mushrooms, vitamin D, CBD. Ginger lime was the original flavor. They just came out with spicy mango. I think it's on the market already. This. <laughs> flavor i love this this is really good but this flavor is like indescribable like it's so good it's like and the spice comes on like slow it's not too spicy it is so freaking good okay yeah 20 milligrams of cbd a mushroom charge cbd enhanced new i always say this wrong nootropic nootropic designed to replace caffeine so you can tackle your day with clear-headed euphoric energy I typically drink it at night. I like to drink it if I don't want to drink wine. They're delicious. So you, you can only order them online right now. I think at least where from I am. I don't know if they sell them in stores yet, but you can order them on their website. We'll link that also, and I will leave y'all the discount code for Cured. So, oh, damn it, I didn't grab it. Okay, I'm not going back upstairs again. I've done like seven trips. Okay, Olaplex started using that, and as someone with long hair, like. You gotta take care of it or else you're cutting it all the time. And I usually get my hair cut like once every six months and we're due. Yeah, we're really due. Just using like their whole range of products. I started with the, I think it's number three. It's like the mask you put on before you shower. Then I started using their shampoo and conditioner and I just bought the bonding oil and I'm excited to use that. I just love like an oil. Um, yeah, love their products. They smell amazing. I feel like it's actually making a difference in my hair. Whereas like other brands, I'm just like, I'm like, literally is doing the same thing as everything else okay next thing that i have on my list i like don't even want to show you the living room because it's like not even close to being done i need to chom chom them i guess i'll just show you guys so okay if you don't know what a chom chom is it's a pet hair roller so these are the two couches that we just got in that has got to go that's cheap from Wayfair and we just need to pick a table. And so we're going to do accent chairs here and then, yeah, whatever. That's a whole other story. But just got these two couches from Bassett. That one is the Oliver Great Room Sofa and that one is the Allure something sofa. They're both actually the same size, but Fisher's in trouble. <laughs> 
Um, I'm obsessed with the bench seat here. This one is definitely deeper. Yeah, obviously we need art. We need lots of things in here, but we literally just got these a few days ago. But yeah, if someone else tells me how bold we are for getting my couch just the two dogs, I'm like, I don't wanna hear it. I was like, I'm not giving up my aesthetic look that I want, like, because of the dogs. And honestly, like, they've been pretty good not getting on there, but I mean, I know things are gonna happen, but we got a performance fabric, so. One other fun thing skincare i feel like in 2021 i really like invested in it i've been buying sporadically product for years of course but like i feel like i was like we're learning about skincare we are understanding skincare we are spending money on skincare because i, I guess i started botox like mm, it wasn't 2020 it was like 2019 but i also like love learning about it and like buying new things and trying new things so i just grabbed like some of my definitely more expensive products but as an example of like investing in skincare but these are products that are gold okay i will say that i didn't want to bring my whole collection down here but drunk elephant sends me pr but I brought down like the one product that I've been buying for years, F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. And it just hydrates like nothing else. It's basically like an overnight mask, but it's basically like a cream. It has vitamin F, which is like the hydrating vitamin. Also, it says apply four to five pumps. The last time in your night routine, but I mix it with an oil. You sure as hell don't need four to five drops. I do like one to two, but worth it. All of the Drunk Elephant products. I love that it's like clean beauty. I love the story behind it. If you're going to start buying higher grade skincare, Drunk Elephant, I feel like it's just the way to go. Like not one bad thing to say about any single one of their products but three other things i just figured i would throw out here the u beauty resurfacing compound it's i want to say like salicylic glycolic and something else I don't see anything on here just good like you wake up and you feel like you've got like you've exfoliated just like glowing gold another literally gold um liquid gold this is another acid revitalizes and assists in re in firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of skin protein and licorice i just feel like it just like gets everything i use it obviously after i wash my face but i feel like if there's any leftover makeup this gets it and also just like I'm, I'm at a loss for words today when I'm filming this. It's an alpha hydroxy product. What else is in it? Glycolic. That's a good one. And then the, I feel like all the stuff I got was like resurfacing, if that's the right word, except for this. Um, the, oh, literally resurfacing. Tata Harbor resurfacing mask. It says for an instant glow in literally. So it's like a little jelly mask. Love it. If my skin's looking dull, use it. Okay, next thing is, I still keep calling it Mimi Method, but... It is called Superhuman, the app, and Mimi Bouchard is the one who started it. This is what the app looks like, and if you want to start meditating, this is how you should do it. There you go. She, I started meditating probably in like 2020, but 2021 was the year I did it every single day. I mean, every single day. It just like sets the tone for the day. It just makes me a literally better person. Yeah, it's just like totally shifted my mindset. It's just my quiet time in the morning. I love it, but I also do a lot of just walking meditations. I listen to it while I get ready in the morning. Um, she's walking, running. She calls them chilling, but it's when you're cleaning or when you're yeah, getting ready in the morning. And these are perfect if you want to get into meditation because they, she makes you think about things in different ways. It's like my favorite time of day. It's like one of my favorite things to do now. Okay, so I thought I would do one book. I'm actually gonna do a whole video on books because I read so many good ones. I figured I would, I made myself pick one. It was really hard, but. <coughs> Joe Dispenza is the guy, the guy. So speaking of like meditation and like law of attraction, manifestation, all the good stuff, this is basically a science backed book around the law of attraction. So this was his most recent book. So I read this, but now I'm like going backwards and reading, breaking the habit of being yourself. But I think his most famous one is like, you are the placebo, but yeah, basically he draws on research in neuroscience, epigenetics, psychoneuroimmunology, neurocardiology, electromagnetism, and quantum physics to show how human transformation and change takes place and what it can mean for your lives. Basically, like scientifically explains the law of attraction. Basically, it explains like how you draw things into your life. It's so interesting. It was a little hard to read in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, like it's a lot of science, but I skipped ahead, I think initially, to some of the like more, what do you say, like application processes, but like look at how many, I ended up going back through and like reading the whole thing, but look at how many pages I have earmarked. It's so good, it's so interesting. Like look, there's a bunch of graphs in here. 
I just like this shit. But yeah, I'm gonna do a whole video because I have at least 10 books I wanna talk about. Okay, two productivity things because 2022 is the year of me getting my fucking schedule together. I am like obsessed with productivity, but I am like the worst about getting sidetracked. So bad. Um, so <laughs> this has actually helped me so much. I need to change the battery. A time cube. The Skinny Confidential has talked about these for years and I just like never got one. I was like, I don't need that. Like I manage my time well. If you wanna know how you, much you waste time, get one of these. So I basically started off like just setting it for 15 minutes. I'm, okay, I'm gonna work on this task for 15 minutes and then like work your way up. I don't really ever use the 60 minutes, but it's so helpful because you don't realize how quickly or how much you're wasting time like now quickly time is passing and then you're like oh oops um okay like i just wasted 15 minutes and i didn't even finish what i was doing so it's just super helpful but i feel like it's really helpful with time batching if you're like okay i'm gonna yeah work on this one task for 30 minutes and we'll move on to the next thing it's just a good productivity tool and it's like maybe ten dollars on amazon and then the next thing so like I said, I'm like obsessed with productivity and I plan every day like down to the second, even though I waste time all the time. What I realized is because I had it on my phone and my computer, it was actually a distraction because, okay, like let's say I'm doing something that is not on my computer or not on my phone. I have to get on there to check it, to see what I should be doing. And then I get distracted. I sound like I'm really distracted because I am. Anyways, so I got a physical planner and I wrote down like, a daily schedule a weekly schedule and like my to-do list for every day um and this one is so day designer i've been obsessed with for years i had them the expensive one is like it's 60 dollars, but it's worth it she is thick and i think it's a page for every day which i loved and it was like a hardcover so the first one i like got the real one and then target started making these and they have so many different versions now so the one I had for 2020 was the Home Edit, if you're not familiar with them, they're like a home organization company, four day designer, and I used that one in 2020. And then this one is the Every Girl, which I love their Instagram um, for the day designer. Loved this like florally print. And then, can you find a page that I haven't written on yet? I just like that. Okay, so in the beginning, also they have stickers. It comes with stickers. We love stickers. It just has like really good like okay like my goals for the year this dog wants to be loaded. my goals for the year daily habits weekly routines monthly rituals and okay so it has like my goals and then my action steps for goals and then a bucket list and then it has a monthly view and then this is what i really like that every single day is split split into your schedule and then also your to do's and i love that so if you've heard of the Ivy Lee method, the Skinny Confidential talks about it, you pick, I think it's, I would say seven, but I think it's six tasks for the day and like that's it, like no more. And then if you don't finish them, you move into the next day. It has seven lines to do. I have like a really bad habit of writing too many things. Like I'm not gonna fit them all in. So I like that it's like limited. And then I write my schedule. Um, and then in the back for this one, there's just like, personal goals it has like they call it extra resources in the back which i just like they have like little self-care habits ways to get unstuck how to be mindful um habits for more energy like just like cute little things like that i just love it and then there's a little note section in the back but they also came in like a cute gray and white one but yeah the physical planner has helped me so much there's also something about like writing things down where it just like sticks better i feel like that's everything i know there's something i'm forgetting those are my favorites from 2021 hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and if you're interested look for that video on the books i also might do one on podcasts i have a whole spotify playlist with all my favorite podcasts which i will also miss one thing i forgot i started getting the luminary nail system done i found well i actually found the nail salon and then found the they do this and you can look up on the luminary website like different salons that have it these are my natural nails i actually just cut them they were even longer i used to be a serial nail biter gross so gross i could never grow them out they just were never strong enough i was always getting like acrylic or gel or whatever and then i got sns for years my nails were so brittle i'm not gonna blame sns but i don't know if it was like just the way they were doing them whatever i could never grow them out because they're so brittle underneath sns like if i didn't have sns on my nails when they take this off are so 
strong. Like I'm blown away by how strong they are all the time. Um, basically it's like a polish and it just dries thick and then they use gel on top of it and this lasts. I don't think I've ever had, I've never, I've been doing this for almost a year. Like I've never had one break, never. Not going, sorry. <laughs> and it's amazing. So if you can find someone in your city that does it, do it. Originally I did it with gel X extensions to grow my nails out and then now these are my natural nails and Okay, that's enough things. All right, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I feel like I post more on TikTok these days than Instagram, but I'll link everything, all the links, all the socials um, below. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in the next one.